Geek thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Why, thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, a lot's changed as you can tell. I've got a new trench coat. Lovely. I've got a mask. Still got the fedora on. I've done a few things in the game, right, without recording it. I've only done, like, one side mission and I kind of explored a little bit. Only a little bit, just because there's a lot still to do. Um, but I've, um, I just wanted to learn a lot because I feel like, you know, it's really... Pardon me, um, go back to the world map and change the time. Uh, how do you change the time again? There's a way to change the time, isn't there? What's the button to change the time? Because there's a mission I've got to do, which is go to quests. There we go. Now, let's go to this mission. Dee cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Yeah, I have an owl and about six frogs. Cheers, mate. I do kind of feel sorry for them, right? Because obviously I've watched a few of the Harry Potter movies now. And it is pretty harsh how they're fucking treated. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty fucking harsh. And I kind of feel sorry for them, like... The ace little guys, like... I mean, fucking hell. Like... Like... If I lived in the world of Harry Potter, I, I don't... I don't think I would have one cleaning my floors. I think that's a bit harsh. It's like... Like, I get it, like, you know... I mean, people have, like, you know, like, especially people who are, like, completely filthy rich, like, they're filthy rich, even very high, high-paid YouTubers as well as a lot of big YouTubers out there who have loads of money, and I've, I've heard some people, you know, who are really big YouTubers, they make millions and stuff, they got millions of subscribers and that, and something I know I've that highly doubt I'll have, have right? I mainly just do this because I enjoy doing it. I don't care about that type of shit. It's pointless. I don't know how the fuck I can speak to a million people. That would be fucking fun, wouldn't it? But the thing is, um, yeah, I hear stuff like, yeah, they fucking, what do they do? They get people to, like, cook and clean for them. Nah, I don't, this sounds bad. I only trust one person to cook food for me, and that's my own mum. But I like to cook my own food. Like, I have my own house in that, obviously. I'm old enough now. With having my own family, you know, I have a child myself, you know, I... Even though I'm a bit of a child myself, <laughs> I'm the most childish human being you'll ever meet. But the thing is, I, um, you know, I love, I love cooking myself and cleaning as well. I get it if you ha I, I get it if people have big giant mansions, but if I had, if I had loads of money, I wouldn't buy a mansion, I'm being honest, I really wouldn't. I'd still live in the same house. Because I like my house. Mm -hmm. But I think... Um, I get it. People, you know, if... If you make loads and loads of money, millions, you know... Y you have your own rights to spend how you want, but... I don't see the point where people need to... Um, what's the word? Uh, pay people to clean the house and cook for them. It's a bit strange, I don't know. To me, it just feels like, well... You're losing a bit of your independence, and I like having that independence in my own life. Do you get what I mean? I don't know how, how to explain this, but, um... Oh, that's cool. What's that there? It's like a dinosaur. Oh, it's a... It's a... It's a, it's a something, okay? It's definitely something. But as I was saying, yeah. I like, um... I like my own independence, so... Even if I ever came across a load of money, I doubt I'd even, I, I wouldn't even know what to spend it on. I pro I'm not going to lie, I'll probably buy an, a, a guitar, like, because I like my guitars, I do like my guitars, and I'll probably, I don't know, I don't know what I'd do. I wouldn't buy a fancy-ass car, because I see people buy, you know, who have millions of pounds and they spend, like, like, they buy ten supercars, like Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and all this shit. Nah, do you know what I'd get? I'll have one of them proper cheeky cheeky bam bam things, you know, like, boom, 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 boom. big old, like, truck or something. So you can hear me rolling up. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> That'd be fucking ace, wouldn't it? I'd love one of them. Like a proper old car. Falling apart with rust everywhere. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a car. That'd be ace. That's what I reckon I'll have. I wouldn't spend millions of pounds on that Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I mean, if I had... um, I mean, my dream guitar would... Not guitar. Dream car would be a 19... 
69 Mustang. I do like them. I think they're nice looking cars, but in a realist, no, I wouldn't buy one because it's pointless. You know, I'd rather have a big car, something like, I don't know, as I said, like a pickup truck. I like that. I could put, throw stuff in the back of it, like. Ah, time for a butter beer. Hello there. Nice oh. to see you. Hello. Nice to, nice to see you too. All oh, right, I thought I honestly thought that I'll was a man. again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Ah, that's all right. Any time. That was honestly quite fun. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, as I was saying, I, I just find it kind of weird that people honestly generally pay people to do stuff like that. I don't know. I get it. Like you know, you got people in royal families and you know stuff like that. You know, people high up and stuff like that. They get people who do stuff for them because obviously they have a giant ass mansion and the royal I mean it's been going on for centuries hasn't it like royal families and stuff like that kings and queens have always had people who do stuff for them but I don't know I just feel it's weird I like to have my own independence I don't know hello Miss Ryan I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack Serona please and I was happy to help oh, those two are nothing but trouble Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. He's a friend. I'm glad to hear him. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumours I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you. Thank you, Serena. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. Okay. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please watch your back. Oh, don't worry, I will. Right then, let's go find this goblin. Then. But as I was saying, like you know, it is kind of weird, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean. It, if you had like millions of pounds, what would you do? I'll be honest, I wouldn't know what the hell to do with it. I'd just look at it and go, right, okay. I mean, in the nicest way, I think I'd probably give it to people who need it more than I would. I look at it this way, right? If you have a roof over your head, food on your table, and I mean this, right? If you've got all them things, then you should be happy. If you've got a roof over your head and you've got food on the table and clothes on your back, you should be happy, right? Obviously, people go through things in day-to-day -day life what can make them sad, miserable, or frustrated. Sometimes it could be a relationship, a loved one, or a lost one. Many people go through that. But you should never make it out that your life is so difficult, especially if you've got simple things like food clothing and a roof over your head because you gotta understand there's, there's people out there, there's children out there, there's, you know, it's in all these different countries and I've seen some of the videos as well, it's fucking heartbreaking, you see some of these children, they're just skin and bone and they have nothing and it fucking breaks my heart and every time I see that I go, damn I'm lucky, damn I am so lucky. That's why if I try and make a meal, I try not waste any of it. Because even the smallest little bit of food is like a giant meal to them. Because they have nothing. 
and I think people should be grateful for what they have in life because you don't need millions. You don't need millions. I don't see why people think in their head that it's like you got all these idiots on live right now on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, going around. This is how you make millions. Get a job. This and that. Break out of the cycle of a fucking matrix. Listen, if you want to be rich, fine, crack on. If that's what you want to do, it makes you think it's going to make you happy, fine. But if you honestly truly believe that becoming a millionaire is going to make your life any better, well, it might make you better in financially, supportly, uh, yeah, it might do. But in the nicest way, I don't see why people have to brag about it. What good are you doing with that money? Or what, you're selling a course to make more money, to tell people how to be a millionaire. It's stupid, I hear it all the time. It drives me mad, it's like, what the fuck? It's like, yeah, I'd love to work from home. That would be a perfect job for me. I'd love to do that. I'd love to do this as a job. But I know that's a difficult thing for me to do because I live on the Isle of Man. Because I don't have a million subscribers. Do you get what I mean? I don't even have a hundred. I don't have a thousand. That's that's a milestone what's diff difficult for me. That's, that's if I could ever make that. That would be a mere miracle in itself. I only do what I want to do. And if people enjoy it, happy days. But I don't care about the numbers. And that's... I think too many people question numbers about it. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know. It's a nice little rent. While we're getting into the game, I feel like it's, it's good to have a little talk. Welcome to the arms head. And the empty seat is yours. Ah, nice, nice little bottle beer. Start the day. Little pop. Hello there. Hello, Lord Cock. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Right. Have a bit of beer, bottle of beer. Why not? Great way to start a day. Now let's enjoy this. As I said, you should always enjoy what you've got in life. Especially people. You should enjoy every second you have with every single person you love and care about. Enjoy everything. Because there's others out there who are missing for that they don't have anything. And I've noticed that. It's a sad reality, but it's a pain. How the hell did he get there so quick? I I do look good though, I'm not gonna lie, like, you know, I do look good. I do. I do. I look fresh. I'm ready. I was born ready. Good. There's no time to lose. Okay. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. Your hands are The huge. witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Well, I'm happy to help. I get to learn new little tricks. 
I'm not gonna lie, the size of his hands, like, he could... He could do some damage with them hands. Have you seen them? He could knock me out easy! Let me guess, we're going towards the enemy. Oh no, wait, they're the wolves. Um, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I learned how to do some of these test things where you uh, try and find stuff. Not find stuff, like, it's uh, that little... What do they call them? Puzzles? Yeah. I'm too used to horror games, aren't I? I haven't played a good RPG game in a while. I don't know if you call this an RPG game. Is it an RPG game? I know it's like a survival open world game. In some sense, I think it is. I don't know. I mean, I do play some, which I do enjoy. Um, like some good open... One sec, mate. I just need to... Um... Sorry, I just... Just got a... A slight little issue, mate. There's a... There's a... Um... Okay, we can go. Keep going. Oh, I just used the only one I had as well. I just realised that. Like, ah. Oh well, I can I can build it back up anyways. I think I've gotten a lot more better in combat as well because I've been practicing as well. Because I thought, I mean, you guys are probably laughing at the way I'm playing. Like, why don't you use your shield? Why don't you dodge? I don't know. I'm shit at this game. But um, I've I've I thought to you know instead of recording the gameplay, which you can see, I've got some new clothing and the mask and as I was saying, I leveled up once. Ah, and, and there it is, the witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? Okay. Revelio. Okay, there's a lot here. Okay, this this is gonna be fun. Might explain why I had to learn a new skill. Wait, hang on. What was the skill again? I had to learn. What's it called? Have I got this? No, I haven't. Let me get it there. Because I'm more likely gonna have to use it. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now before you set off, do you have any questions? Why is that helmet valuable? I can. I encounter in the tomb. Don't here. suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. Okay, fire. Thank you kindly. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I, I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. I will try. This is going to be fun. So, fire is the best source of course of action by the sounds of it. Okay. Right. Revelio. Gotta use Revelio. Might be stuff in here what I may need. And you know full well there's gonna be spiders everywhere. Which is gonna be a pain in the ass. It's sealed. Oh. Oh, Curious. Wait. Compulsor. What do I do I... Is there a... Revelio. I don't know what that's supposed to do. I have no idea. We'll see. Do I need to... Oh... Maybe I need to... How do I... Accio! Depulsa! Expelliarmus! Okay, I might uh, I might need to change things up a bit here. Right. Um, 
What abilities have I not got? Okay. That one I haven't got out. I'll try these. Incendio. Is this it? Levioso. How do I get it out? Revelio. How do I get its attention? I need um is there a way to Also Confringo no. Akio no. Expelio no. This is not work oh wait hang on Also Confringo If I try and oh it may be Also Akio How do I get it? Expelliarmus! Things can move quick! Oh my days. Right. Maybe... Incendio! Oh yeah! Not fire. Levioso! How do I... Do I just pick it up? Potato! No. Potato? No potato? What if I got what may help? Light? Or... Lumos. Ah. Is it a moth or a butterfly? Also. That worked, I guess. Good thing I have a, some sort of a brain. No. Merlin's beard. Okay, Merlin's beard is is reasonably reasonably we. I think English just went out the window for me. Rebellion. I'm being I'm being honest there. It just went nah. Do you know what, Dave? What's the point? At this point, don't even bother. I should look. Maybe I should make up my own language and just call it Dave. What, what language do you speak? Oh, fuck no, I have no idea. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely, I need to go further. Oh, yeah. That's pretty obvious. I'm not lucky enough. Lumos. Come on, mate. Let's get... Well, that's not it. it. Must be it here. How about... And then we go... Okay. What's this? Ooh, ten. Ten coins. Lumos. Come on, mate. Let's go. Can I just, like, stop using it? it goes back. Yeah, there we go, that's fine. What's this? Bit of gold, get in there. Bit of gold, get in there. Right. I think I know why I needed this one. Because I needed the butterfly. Get them spiky-ass mushrooms and we are laughing. I don't like how easy it is at the start because then it tells me there is going to be, uh... Lumos. Wait, hang on. Get them, get them glasses. Lumos. Come on, come on, little fella. Let's go. Right now, pop you there. Uh, I've always got to be ready for a fight. That's why I got to put it back. I don't trust Revelio. anything. That's why I hit the Revelio. I have a else. feeling I'm not alone here. You think? These things. A wizard. Also. Confringo. Yeah. These inferior are horrible. Compulsor. Expelliarmus. Okay. I don't know what they will do for me, but Ooh, there's gotta be some goodies in here. Yep, 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 yep. Nice bit of gold. Get in there. Yeah, I'm not Rebellion. 
reply. I knew there would be a little, well, not challenge, but this, that was easy enough. Sunglasses. They definitely want your character to wear glasses in this game. No hint to any certain main characters from the uh, original story, but hey, oh. Okay, mate, let's go. Lumos. Okay. Something's telling me I've got to go through there. Lumos. Lumos, hello. I heard right as well, and I've been seeing these videos online. People can actually get ones, like. Incendio! Actual, actual ones. Like, it's a close. If I could power it something, it looks like it could be rotated. Power it. Wait a second. Kabolso! Akio! How do I power it? Oh, do I? Okay. How do I power this? Expelliarmus! Confringo! Kabolso! Akio! Okay, that's not it. Incendio! Levioso! Okay, Lumos! Most will not do anything. Okay, maybe I need to do it. Incendio! Okay, this is gonna be a weird experience, I feel like. This has a moth imprinted on it. Same as the door. You are. Oh. Lumos! Okay, come on, mate, let's go. Good thing I looked then. Let's go. Oh shit, uh, maybe I need to. Uh. Yeet! Roll that up. Let's go. Let's get this one. Gamer brain. It's called being a gamer. A professional. Lumos. More like a professional twat, but let's go. Right. You go in there. Good thing I do have some sort of a. Lumos! Brainish. Come on, mate, let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Ready for war. Rebellion. Rebellion. Show me what's behind this door. Show me the goods. Right, there's a lot over there. This is a deep ass place for a witch to be buried. Like, what the fuck was she? Was she special of some sort? Um. This calls for a bit of um, concern. I don't know why. I feel like Rebellion. there's something going on here. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll bite. Need to get that platform closer. But how? I don't fucking know, do I? Is it? Akio. No, that's not it. Um. Let me open. What's that? Um, I'm missing it. I'm missing that ability where you yeet stuff towards you. Which one is it? No, I've got it already. Um, I have no idea. Oh, it would be interesting to have, but okay. Accio. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's this? No, that's not gonna work. I need to change. I completely forgot. Levioso. Levioso. And then fucking push it. Keep pushing it towards the thing. Is it here? Or is it fucking. Levioso. Which one is it? I'm beyond confused. That does pull out. Here. There's bone. More bones. Um, right. Is it 
Wait a second, is it made out of bones? Oh shit, that explains. Right, okay, I need to go back to that one and change that to fix EOP. And then it's uh, it's gotta be a fix EOP okay. job. Perhaps Akio could help. Revelio. Akio. The hell's Akio? Wait. Reparo. This has gotta be it. This isn't it. Akio. What's Akio? Which one's that one? Okay. I already have that. But what the hell Rebellion. does it do? I need to really use my head at this point, don't I? Akio. Oh. Oh, okay. I hope this was worth it. <sighs> for fucking crap. <laughs> All that effort for the for the jacket. Or for the t-shirt. That I highly doubt I'm gonna use. Ooh, oh, oh, there was a bit of a drop in a the frame there. Revelio. What's that hanging there? Well it looks precarious. Down I go. No other way. Well, there's a few. Oh my days! I thought the game awesome. stopped on me then. What's in here? Obviously, there's something to do up here. Let's go. Let's uh. Gear. It's always gear. It's always gear. There's nothing else. I really need to. I found out that I can update my gear. I'm not going to use glasses. I know I'm not going to. So I'm just going to get. Uh, I can sell that for a hundred and what? No, I'll just get. I'll just destroy one thing because maybe this might be better than the other thing. Okay. Do you know what? Maybe not. We can all dream, eh? Hang on a second. Bring it towards me. Bring it towards me. Bring it towards me. There we go. Let's get up there, have a look. And if there's one thing I've learned after going into places in this game is to search everywhere. You never know what you'll find. Because you need a lot of things, especially health potions. Revelio! Because they do come come handy. Change. Right, let's go. Oh Mate, I have made you jump off higher than that. Okay. It's just one of them. It's one of them places what can be a bit of a maze. Akio. Okay. Wait, what the hell? Okay, I just walked around in a circle. At least I know. As I said, I always check everywhere. I feel like, yeah, health potion. This is gonna be... It's gonna be fun. Should probably watch myself. Oh my days. Oh, do you know what? I might have screwed up, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. I think I should potentially have that there because incendio. Oh 
my base. Incendio. Oh my days. I'm fighting very much. Come on then, guys. Incendio. Oh wow, okay, no, there is more. Incendium. Are they just gonna keep coming? Is this what's happening? Oh shit. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, oh shit. Incendium. Someone's already dead. Kind of like a zombie. I can use pretty quick. Yeah, I think the uh spawn. No? Have they stopped? I was going to say, how the hell am I supposed to continue while getting attacked like that? that Rebellion. No way. No way I would have been able to do that under pressure. Lumos. Let's go. Lumos, my friend. Let's throw you in there. Because obviously that's going to help. And then I go, wait, hang on, I go here, and then I go here. Awesome. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fucking hell, come on, get up. Get up, you twat! Oh, that's a fucking joke. Right, nah, you're lying. Looks even more complex. It fucking always is. Right now, give me no. Come on, keep forgetting your Lumos. That. Lumos, let's go. Oh right, okay, okay. This looks really fucking complicated. I'm not even gonna lie. What the hell? Right, so there's a butterfly there. There is one around here as well, down here. We oh, pick up the skull. Pick everything up at this point because it might be valuable or might be useful. You never know in this game. I'm not Lumos. Going. Lumos, let's go. What is that? Repairer. No, I don't want to repair it. But I want the gold, though. Lumos, let's go. How do I? Oh, so I stick it here. You stay there. I smash that, I run over, and I grab that. Okay. Three. I should probably change it up a bit. Then. That's a whack. I might as well use. That can be that. Just so I can grab his attention quick. Lumos. Get in there. Come on, mate. Look, that goes there. Uh, little, little hop of a break in here. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Lumos. Oh, for fuck's sake. What for fuck's sake? Oh, shit, I'm nearly falling off the floor. There we go. Right, stop. Fucking Lumos. Let's go. Didn't know how to confuse you a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Now let me get that fire back because I'm gonna need that. The witch's final resting place. I was Lord gonna Gok say said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. I was gonna say, what kind of witch is this? Revelio! Because, well, come on, just taking the piss. They're all over the show here. Uh, look like wizards and all sorts of here. Looks like someone's already tried being here. Okay, a dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Oh, oh God, one like this. Come on, why? Really? 
It's not even the fact because of the gear situation. Um, what am I getting rid of? Just get rid of that at that point. It's no use to me. But what's in here? Hopefully, it might be something good. I made all that effort, and um, it's not fucking here. I had to show this to Lodgok. But he's dead. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Let's go. Do you know what, though, guys? I'm not going to lie. I've got Milky Way Magical Stars. Best chocolate in the world. Yeah, I didn't want to slop in the mic. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I gathered that, mate. Now, have you seen the size of your hands, mate? You can knock them out. <laughs> Just oh, slap them. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Well, I'm more curious to how the fuck they actually got through there when I had to make all that effort. Yeah, how the fuck does that work? Okay. Don't worry, it's just my kneecaps. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. Mate, come on, I'm pretty low to the ground. Third boy, come here, crap, mate. What did you just call me? I've pretty much got their attention at this point. Come on then, boys. I'm ready. <laughs> the hell is that down there? <laughs> the hell is that? <laughs> You've made a grave mistake. <laughs> Uh, should I just leave You're going to regret it? that. <laughs> Fucking crap, I'm like. Stop right there. Slap the troll. <laughs> I'm all let the troll do some work. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Come on, mum. Expulsion! Let him crack on. He's doing all the work for me. I'm gonna sit here, put my feet up and enjoy it. Expulsion! Maybe I should get involved at this point. I, I kind of feel sorry for the troll. <laughs> I just destroyed him. Slap. Slap. I mean, at this point, I'm, uh... I'm gonna have fun, aren't I? Are we doing this? Okay. Listen, mate, right, it seems that we both kind of had the same issue. I wasn't best pleased with them either, so can we be reasonable and just talk? There they are, the Ashwinders. Can, 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 we, can we talk? I just, I'm, I'm being honest, I'm not, I'm not your enemy. All right. Okay. 
We might be in a bit of trouble, guys. I thought it was a one-hit kill, that attack, but um, I didn't realise how. What? Right, listen, mate. Let's let's be incendium. Mate, I didn't want to do that, but you know, it happened. It was a big foot though we had. Revelio. Revelio, what's in here? What goodies have you got? No Kit Kats? What the hell? The level of disrespect. No Kit Kats. No lucky, no lucky. <laughs> I don't know if you guys even know what that is. Oh mate, not the fish. Not the fish, come on. Not the fish. I'll help the fishies out. Let's uh, get back in the water. Get back in the... Accio! I'm trying to help the incident. Sushi! Mate, straight up, these fish are the most dangerous things in this game. Uh, poor spider. That's it! That's it! This is for Rookwood! No more happy days for you! Uh, listen, listen, right, can we. Can we at least talk about it? Oh my goodness. You're a Treadwell, aren't you? That was This guy also. Oh, so, sorry, mate. Come back here for a sec. Just so we can talk about things. I feel like we've had an emotional start to this journey. But at least that I can say I was here to help out. Listen, like Akio. What's up, mate? What's up? You good? <laughs> Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. An Ashwinder. I know. Big ass. Whatever that thing was. I mean, at the end of the day, let's let's think of the bright side, right? I have a broom. <laughs> oh, imagine if I was still playing the game. Mysterious and a bit game. unsettling. What to do? Imagine if I was still playing the game and I was this far and I still didn't have a broom. I'd be fuming. I'd be like, where the fuck's the broom at? I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks like a helmet. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah. Then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. Hang, hang on a second. What did you just we say? We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. There's something I'm curious about him. I don't know what it is, but there's something that just don't seem right. Okay. I feel like I have a lot of things I need to do. What is this? Pop balloons over Hogwarts. Um. Oof. What is this? This looks interesting. Okay, okay. I shall try. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Yeah, okay, that'll be interesting. Huh? As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. But she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon. 
so I look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favourites. I'm coming now, mate. Uh, where are thou? Where is thou hiding? I'm coming, my friend. There is nothing that can stop me. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. <clears throat> yeah, yes, yes, I've madam. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Uh, who are you? Right. <laughs> Ooh, that 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 tickled my kneecaps. I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's go. Right. So, I feel like the game's a hell of a lot more better now. You know, there's not not as much lag anymore. Thank God for that. I think the update has really helped it. And I know, I'm not gonna lie. Before I played this game, I did hear a lot of quite. Uh, what's the word? I don't even know how the hell to pronounce it, but I heard a lot of things that uh, people were hating on this game. Uh, straight up, obviously I know what it is. I'm not a, I don't completely live under a rock. I mean, I might not watch, I might have not watched the Harry Potter movies since like well, now, pretty much at this point. Oh, I've been there already. Can I fast travel? No, because I didn't unlock it. Because I'm a I'm a chocolate bar. <laughs> nah, um, and obviously I heard about some of the stuff, what was said and this and that. Nah, I get it. People, in this day and age, people are different. Which is the fact that, I mean, hell, I can't say anything. I'm the strangest human being on the planet. I reckon, you know, I'm a bit, I'm not looking all there. I mean, having ADHD, ADD, dyslexia, the whole, the whole works. I mean, you, you just, yeah. I mean, I come out with some random shit. Even, looking, even my parents probably question, think, what the hell is wrong with them? <laughs> but yeah, it's um, nah. I understand how some people can feel about what a certain someone said, but in the nicest way. My response to all that, it's a fucking game. It's a game, and uh, all I'm saying is that you can't shit on people who want to enjoy a game. And I think it's a good fucking game, simple as, I'm actually enjoying it. I'm taking my time with it, I enjoy it, I think it's a good game. As I said, I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan, I never really have been. I've watched some of the movies, they're alright. I wouldn't go crazy for them, as I said. I think they're interesting, they're cool. And I think it's a really a unique story, you know. But at the end of the day, what someone said online should not affect what, you know, a game. You know, it really, I don't understand. At the end of the day, you know, I get, like, I look, I look this way, right? The day, the world we live in now is a hell of a lot more accepted with certain things and certain individuals in this world now, right? You can't be I've acting like you because in the end of the day, I look this way, right? It's like I could throw a massive hissy fit, right, about um, how I grew up and how my life was treated. Because in the nicest way, growing up in the early two thousands, you know, uh, late, um, possibly nineteen hundreds, <laughs> you know, back in like nineteen ninety nine and early two thousands. I grew up with dyslexia, ADHD, ADD, all this, right? And yet, the shit I got was unbelievable. You know, people took the piss out of me, fucking hell. I was called a retard every single day. Every single day. Teachers didn't care. Half the teachers didn't care. Some of them did. There were some good teachers. I cannot shit on that. But my, my type, if I was going to say it, how most people say it about what they go through or what they are going through, I look at this way. People like me, who were dyslexic or had ADHD or had all these issues, right, were put, were used, honestly, 
I'll look at it this way. How were they, how were they, you know, dealt with back in the day? Think about it. In the nicest way, they were put in fucking mental asylums. Tortured. Fucking tortured. But you don't see a load of dyslexic people, you know, kicking off and making a massive fuss about it. You know, because of people like us back in the day. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Back in the day, the shit that people used to do, fucked up. It is messed up. But I think we should look towards the future and learn to accept certain things. But there's only certain things I will accept as well in this day and age. If you want to be a certain something, crack on. As long as it's not hurting anyone. As long as it's not a danger to anyone. That's all that matters. But at the end of the day, you can never force your own beliefs and shit on other people. And it's not a fact. They are opinions. And opinions are opinions. Everyone has a right to say what they want to say. And I do believe that. It's just one of them. I just think it's a bit fucking crazy. 